All right, part two, Mad Science Hour. There is now a gape, gap, gap, where the old computer, where the old computer was, because the computer is now here, and it's still the same computer, it's just here. So I hadn't affected much, I had to redo some wires, I redid my desk, everything is nice and clean-ish. Fark. Um, I'm actually live streaming this as well. You see the people here, the people are live. Uh, this live stream and subsequently this Mad Science Hour will now pertain to me hanging the lighthouses and possibly cutting the power cords in the lighthouses because I'm a madman. Um, I do work better on stream. So one will be going up there on these new mounts I bought. Uh, I've got the wire for the headset here through the wall and I bought 10 foot extensions. Luckily I could probably get away with like a six foot extension because I have to extend um, DisplayPort and USB. USB is probably fine. The DisplayPort I get worried with like a 10 foot extension because I want to have it uh, center around this here and which means I'm gonna be able to walk, if this is my play area, I want to be able to walk all the way to this corner which is like eight feet to that comfortably from the headset and then eight feet to that comfortably from the headset, that's 16 which is the actual length of the thing and then what? Help. Hot, what? Help. Oh God, hold on, looking down. <laughs> Princess Pass is here, everybody. Um, help. Oh, Al? Oh, oh, you need more help. <laughs> You're doing great, sweetie. Thank you. No, there is no sync cable. They don't need anything. They just need power. And I was actually talking to my friend, um, Gambit VR. I'm, having, I'm hearing questions, by the way, for people who have no idea what's going on. And actually, I should probably stop Metallica because it's probably echoing through the ship 9500s. Um, he, on his Vive, he has to have the two lighthouses see each other. And I don't think that's a thing with the new index because it doesn't say so. It just says put the lighthouses where they can see you and everything's hunky dory. Because if I could put them where they don't have to see each other, I could put them way up high. Everyone says hi, Pasta. Um, I can put them up high, but since I have this screen here and the track lighting, in order to see from that side of the room to this side of the room, I'm probably going to have to go down about a foot. Foot, foot to 14 inches. Um, my biggest concern, and this is because I'm an adult, God damn it, and I talked about it in my last video that's on YouTube, is that this is the power cables I give you. Thick black. I mean, they're nice, not janky at all. But over there, specifically, it's going to be a black in the corner, and I, I cannot deal. So I did buy heat shrink. Unfortunately, both this end that plugs into the power brick and the other end are too large to allow the heat shrink to pass over. So the Psycho Zeos wants to um, cut this, slide the heat shrink on, and then repair it, and then heat shrink over it. So, but, but that's what Zeos wants to do. We'll see. First thing first, we're going to mount the actual mounts to the wall. Pasta says hi to everyone. I already said hello. Hello, friends. Here's the lighthouses. Um, I have a question for anyone who's in the chat. Let me make this bigger. Anyone who's in the chat, and this is for any, this is great news because anyone who wants to know this, when I turn my computer off, or I should say when Pasta crashed my computer, because she just wanted to keep re replicating. I know it's crackling because I'm recording. Um, Pasta was playing with the headset. She was playing in just standard VR like weight room. And she got the, re the um, repeater tool out and she made so many elephants. How many elephants did you make? So many. So many elephants um, that it literally restarted my computer. That's one of the problems I've had so far is my computer is not brand new. I mean, it's still a GTX 1080, 16 gigs of RAM and a 6700K, but it's not the newest and best and I've lowered the settings that I managed to keep it stable for about an hour and a half and then pasta spawned so many elephants that it was just like uh, 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 and then she just shut off so that's one of the things I'm gonna have to deal with in the future haters are gonna hate um, first thing I gotta decide is I'm going bottom or back I might do back I feel bottom would be more tucked away but back is just gonna give me a little bit more I could hang it upside down. I don't think upside down is an issue. Nothing says I can't hang this upside down, but I think I'm gonna keep it right side up. 
Hmm. Oh, there's another thing that I wanted and I could not find it. Uh, your GPU probably wigged out, but it shouldn't turn off. Yeah. Yeah, no, the thing is it's shut off multiple times. If I pushed it too hard, if I set the resolution too high, because I, I was at 70% resolution, it was fine. At uh, 80, 90 hertz, it was fine. 120, 144, it gets like this. And then as soon as you put like 106% resolution, it's like you've got a time bomb. It might just shut off without doing anything or it might take a little bit of load and then shut off. The audio is cr crackling because I'm recording this with the GoPro. Um, she needs a snack, she needs a snack. What I plan to do now, climb up there, measure off the ceiling, mount this, get, get a snack. Um, snack. Okay. Did you pour them out on the couch? I did. <laughs> That's fine. Do you need a snack? I don't need a snack. I'm snacked. I'm, need a snack. I'm snacked. Good. I'm snacked real good. So. <clears throat> this is what's going to be up there in my corner. Uh, my goal is to only screw in one of these screws because I do rent and I don't want to do all three. And it's, the lighthouse is not that heavy. And once I do position, it should be fine. So I'm just going to attack. There's no wooden beams in these walls. These are metal stud walls, which Grandma's sucks. So I'll probably go find just a straight up mount. And then this wall is going to suck because this wall is concrete. But I have a hammer drill, a little baby 12 volt wall. We're just going to go or. Wait, where? Why? We're here? Or they, where? Where? Honey Graham, delicious. Uh, I don't think I'll need to do that. However, I did have this problem. When I when my computer crashed, like I was saying, when pasta crashed my computer, GMO. the lighthouse kept spinning. Like it's, I kept seeing the mirror inside and I picked it up and sure enough, so I unplugged them last night. Is that normal? Do these things run proprietary 24 hours a day, seven days a week until they destroy themselves? Because that's not cool. I'd really wish they didn't do that because I, that seems like if I'm not using it for a week, they don't need to have had two and a half million resolu revolutions on the fucking mirror. If not more. This thing's spinning in there. You okay? No. Oh. You say that. What are these things? These are... The lighthouses for my valve index. Hi, valve index. It's nice to see you. Um, which I'm gonna, you wait, I'm gonna have a full review of the audio of that because it is astonishingly good. Like those ear speaker things just hover over. They don't touch, they give you low end. They got good separation, they're clear. A little bit of a, of a volume problem on some things, but then I was playing Beat Saber and I was like, fuck, my face. No, they're more chewy. Gross. Gross. Um, so, pasta's got, done now. Bye now. Not Safe now. now, soft now, gone now, flies now. I'm going to take these. Oh, here's the thing I wanted to find. I get this, all right? Follow me on this. Linus made a video about it. I don't want to watch a Linus video. I want to throw things on the floor. Um, Valve Software Deep Dive Ear Speaker. It's really good. I'm going to click that link, in fact. Oh, it's a it's a nasty ass straw. I want to look what the. It's so good. It's like I was like prepared to move it out of the way, detach it, get IEMs. That makes life so much easier, because I don't want to be closed in. I want to still have like li pasta was freaking out by the way. For those of you, I said I would I would give you the review of the thing. Um, sh there's butterflies in the opening thing, and she was like, no, no. Very no. Like, really, really. She does not like butterflies. And they were like... They were up in my grill. Like, they, they were. They were all around me. So, that's... I gotta put real shoes on. Pam, I'm yeah, she, their butterflies are just ugly bugs with pretty wings. So yeah, that's... Who the fuck do you think you are confusing? Not me. I know what you are. Oh, look. It's me and Susie on the... Cute. Thing. Um, so now that I my you feet are out... Streaming. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. I'm um, everybody. I'm going to have to go in that other apartment. So here's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to get some tools and then we're going to mount these. All right. Um, I've got, I randomly picked a spot on the wall. I'll match it on that side. I've got this. I shouldn't need to really power drill it in, but we'll see.
So I'm just going to hand screw this in. I love screwing by hand. Actually, this is taking too goddamn long. Yeah, I could hotwire this car. Only problem is, it takes too damn long. That's a quote from screwing very low. Come on. That's it. There you go. I mean, it's better than better than cold wiring. Am I right, guys? Hello. Okay. I think I can eyeball the level all the way across the room without measuring like a badass. I mean, there is a possibility of that. There is a possibility of that. I won't do it though. We are looking at 14 and a quarter. I'm only anal when the job needs to be. April. 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 April, May. I think I moved in in May. I moved in in May. I like was ready to move in in May. Um, this is why furniture slider stock is going to skyrocket. Because ain't nobody want to move a fucking 130 pound sub. Lord Voldemort? Cool. Can't wait to have free space to actually VR. It's gonna be so great. Oh, I gotta put this stuff in the yard sales. Um, T2 Pro, and I think this is, what are you? T3, T2, T3? Yeah, okay. The Wi-Fi sucks in that apartment because she's sitting on the red chairs. If she was sitting in the bed, it'd be fine. She could sit anywhere she wants. Ask for your face. Um, well, I mean, there's a beautiful couch. There's She can go hide in the bedroom where there's no movement of air. Uh, oh, sorry for everyone who's watching this on YouTube. You guys can't hear the conversation. It's coming on. Uh, let's move. I did, but now I'm recording again for the second part of YouTube. I want to at least show that I'm how I'm mounting these a little bit. Oh, I'm gonna. Okay. Three. I'm going to, oh, something sent me in the butt. All right, this, this, I need to run next door. I'll, oh. These are my drill bits for stone, which is what I need. This is my hammer drill, link to the hammer drill. Pasta, link to this hammer drill. It's amazing for 12 volt. I got that tool for like ninety dollars for the raw tool. What are you doing? Come on. Where can I sit? Anywhere in there while I get tools. Anywhere and where? Anywhere you want. And your office is not out of the way. Office is fine. Go for it. Okay. She don't mind being on stream. She doesn't like being on the tubes. Okay. I think I'm gonna use one of these. Where's my one that had just one of them in it? Booty pop it up. She's gonna want that water in about three minutes, which is what I'm saying for. Oh, she's gonna get a water? Oh, God, you're on YouTube now. <laughs> she thinks she could stop me. She can't stop me. Says the bit wolf. All right, so I'm gonna put a little wall anchor in the um, cement. And I just happen to have boxes of things. So this is a. That is the correct screw for that. I like to check that first. 
The smaller the hole, the easier it is to drill, the easier it is to fill. A giggity, giggity, giggity. <laughs> that was maniacal. Her laughs are always maniacal. It's adorable. All right, we're gonna try quarter inch. I'm pretty sure it's quarter inch. It's clicking because I'm recording because this part is going on YouTube. Um, what was that? 14 and a quarter? I'm record. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm multitask. Women love a man who can multitask. 14 and a quarter. Okay. Let's go. Oh, just clear up a chair. Clear up a chair, woman. Run, run, run. I sh what? Get me that thing over there, please. There's a white thing over there. Come in here. On the subwoofer box, there's a white uh, bracket. Give me the white bracket. You can't miss. Right there. This? Yes. You got it. She got it. I got Thanks. this feeling. That helped. All right. All right. I don't have to go all the way in the corner. I could actually come out a little bit. But at the same time, I don't want to have like wires running, so it's just going to be like 14 and a quarter is like there. And that's why I love 12 volt Bosch things. Yeah, man, I got the biggest jobs done, but fuck me, that's convenient. Okay, that literally just went in there. Damn it! Pasta! Can you get me the thingy thingy? Come on. You're not sitting yet uh, on the same box as a like a black stick with a screwdriver thingy with the red. It's right there. It? Yeah. Geeb. Say please. Pretty? Please? Oh wait, wait, take this back here. I don't need this anymore. Thank you. But I don't want to be on the YouTube. Uh Bitwolf says check the co-host chat. You've upset her now, bit wolf. I'm gonna have to get in front of this to actually like align it. That's it's not bad actually. All right, here I'm going this. Look, it's even a white screw. Sounds like the title of a really bad porno. Oh God, no, 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 not a hammer drill. I was hammer drilling that in. That bad. Zeus did bad. Okay, guess what? That stri stripped the fuck out of the top, but it's mounted. That is what Zeos calls good enough. Now let's put the lighthouses up and we'll worry about, well, no, we can put the lighthouses up and then worry about. Yes? Is that a question? I mean, yes? So all this needs is power. I mean, it's literally a USB plug and RCA output, so you're done. I mean, if you're gonna get a USB DAC, get a cheap one that's easy to deal with. So that's the Caddis board. You're beautiful, baby, don't. All right, pointing down. Well, that's about 15 degrees. This, what? Well, I'm just getting into point to the middle of the room, so that should be perfect. There it goes. You could just unmute that mic though. Like you could use the computer's mic like you used to. That's too low. That's too low. I'm looking at the top. Sorry if this is really scatterbrained. I'm, I'm in streamer mode and not record YouTube mode. I don't want to see the top of it. I want to stand in the middle of the room and just have it be perfectly plain to there. So if this is the middle of the room, that's perfect. So now let's get the other one. Oh, let's get the ladder. 
Oh, so I'm gonna discuss this both on YouTube and on Twitch and see if someone could help me with it. Why am I screwing these onto quarter 20 mounts? Well, there's that screw I was looking for before. Fucking fantastic. Why doesn't someone make, and I looked on Amazon, I'm sure it might exist in some really proprietary site for like professional use. But I would kill right now to have a adapter, a magnetic adapter, a lightweight magnetic adapter that goes quarter 20 in, metal plate, maybe with two pegs in it, and then a quarter 20 female for that with two pegs in it. So you could just go click, and when it's time to take these down to fucking firmware them, it just goes click, click, because they don't hold that much weight. I don't, it doesn't need to be that secure. It's not a speaker. I just want something that I could put on here. I think a magnet will interfere as well, which is why I didn't buy the giant 200 pound hold neodymiums. I'm being molested. <laughs> she thinks it's funny. It's not funny. Oh, molestation is not funny. Oh, it's kind of hot too. No, don't say that on YouTube. Oh I mean, if God. you're being molested by a hot woman. Fuck. People are gonna be oh, pasta, pasta. All right, stand in the middle under the under the vent. You're under the vent, get under the vent. You see the top of that other unit? You can't see the, the, the roof of it? That one? Yeah, you see how you can't see the roof? Look at this one. Can you see the roof? The one you, yeah. you can see the roof now? The roof, the roof, the roof is alive. I can't really. Yeah, it says fix your shit. I'm, I'm I'm streaming on my shit. Okay, there's a thingy. I'll judge it. Mary Ethel Poppin says, what is it called when Japanese people put their fingers together and charge hard into the anus hole? This can't go on YouTube now. Thank you, Mary Ethel Poppin. <laughs> Hold on. I... Okay, under that, that's pointed at me. You're pointed at, well, you could probably... I really wish I could see the t like a like a like a racing stripe. It has to go more that way. There you go. It just needs to be like I want to be right here, dead center of my vent, which is where I'm going to mount things. Center of that, center of that. I could just see the roof of that. I can't see the roof of that, so it has to go up a little bit more. Perfect. All right. That is it for this section. I'm now going to take the power plugs. I'm probably going to cut one. The one for this, I don't want black cables hanging down. I've, I've, I've even gone as far as like wrap black cables and white tape, but I bought heat shrink. It just won't fit on this. So I'm probably going to take this one. It could be black down there, but it can't be black in the corner here. I will not, I will not allow it. So I'm going to cut the wire it's only a two conductor wire and I'll re-crimp it but I'm gonna slide on some nice long white heat shrink so that you don't see that you don't see that it'll just be white all right so let me go get that going and then we'll come back all right before I go on to cutting and re-crimping that one let's do this one real quick because it's not that hard a oh, giggity this one's not getting recolored or anything. So I want to smash my head on the ceiling. Um, I have this here and this is for surround wires and the surround sound and HDMI up to my projector. So I'm just going to pop this sucker here. Sucker popped. Then I'm going to go right there. I'm going to cut this actual track with a wire, with a dykes. Just enough to let the wire in. Um, I actually brought two cutters. Hold on, come on. A straight one and a 90 degree cutter because one cannot do the job of the other. Actually, no, I don't need that one. So I folded it over, here we go. And we're gonna put this in here. And I made real sure I did not unzip this all the way to the top because it's so much easier to re-zip. One did do the job. And now I have to get off my ladder. There's gonna be an insane amount of extra wire. Quarter 20. 
Quick connector magnetic. You could always post a link, it just might get you banned. Eh, I mean, that's half the battle. Is it under $20? Oh my god, it's still on top of here. CO's too bad. CO's too bad. For one or for a pair? Like, for. Tell me I don't have to spend $50 for that. Because if I have to spend $50 for that, you can suck my ass. I'm asking people about um, Quick Connects for a quarter 20. Okay. Close, 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 close. So how much extra wire do we have to go to there? Oh no, there's a knot in it. I have to undo it all. No, that looks perfect. Look how clean that is. Oh God, it's like I'm a real boy. Okay, so this will just get plugged in here and I'll deal with this, I'll loop it up. I don't wanna make it, I don't wanna cut it because I have a feeling this is gonna end up at my brother's apartment at some point and I'm gonna be like, hey everybody, who wants to play Beat Saber? And they're gonna go like, beat what? And I'm gonna be like, put this on and they're gonna go, shit! And I'm gonna be like, yeah! Uh, dramatic recreation. pre-creation. Dramatic imagination. It does look much more open. Well, the table's over another, like, foot now. Actually, the table's over another, like, eight inches, so it's directly under the artwork where it used to be here. That speaker's exactly in the same spot, only it used to be sitting on the table. So the table's over. So there's more room to sit. I gotta get a better piece of furniture than the two IKEA things stacked on top of each other. Talking to the streamers now. But that looks fantastic. Only one screw, not a lot of weight. That's up there, not a lot of weight. That's gotta get prettied up with effort though. In fact, who wants to watch me commit? Pasta loves commitment. Here it goes. Where the hell is it? I need the other power thingy. Don't move, Pasta. You're doing a great job. Okay, no, no. Cookie? Cookie? Oh, here it is. What, are you offering me a cookie? Mm -hmm. Oh shit, free cookies. Baby, I'm putting cookies in my mouth. All right. This is called commitment. I'm now committed because I've just cut my wire off. So, No, I just say my chair ran it over. It's fine. Where is my heat shrink? It was on the table here. It was covered with something. Megami, is that you? Here it is. So, now... Yeah, I know. It was, I told it by accident. Please get another one. Look, not everyone can get black fucking wires to work with their decor, all right? It doesn't even need to go down all this way. I can go here. It needs to just go from the ceiling. It needs to go from the, yeah, that's plenty. <laughs> now the worst thing ever. In fact, the video is probably gonna end right here because Trying to feed nine feet of cable through a heat shrink tube, I'm gonna have to probably get a goddamn stiff stick. I mean, we're going pretty smooth. Thank God this cable isn't janky. It's a nice straight cable. It's got decent weight. If I if I bend, if I take the bend out of it, and it's not like just a virgin, it's a virgin tube otherwise. You wanna get it sort of like the shape of a, Actual tube. Oh my gods. Keep going. Keep, oh, we're starting to get... Starting to get nasty now. I need to do this out the window. Like, I'm not joking. I might go down to my, go to my steps. Because as soon as there's a kink and we're near the floor, this is going to stop. Um... Ideally, you'd have like a small steel snake. 
staircase is what I was just talking about. This is way too long. I need to cut some of the end of this off. Because it only needs to be white. Oh my god, this is like twice as long as it needs to be. Okay, I failed in measuring. So, there. Well, actually, let me go from here to here. Oh, what the flying bark! There you go. I'm just measuring the actual white bit now. So here we go. There's white. There's white. Okay, right around. I, I can cut like two feet of this off, which you don't think two feet's gonna be that hard, but when you're at this sort of length, and it's not like I'm gonna throw this out, two feet of heat shrink is like usually the denomination they sell it to you in anyway. So, I don't think even pasta could help me with this. I'm serious, I'm gonna throw it out my window. Because if it's There is businesses down there and people walking by on the street. They're just like, why is there a white thing? Come on. Come on. All right, back when this is good. All right, I had to um, drape it over this second story drop off so that it was perfectly straight so I could loop it through here. Please ex ignore the uh, puzzle. Now I get to use my heat gun. Whew. I want to cut another two feet of this off because it was too much. Oh, I won't look. Here we go. Someone had just said in my head, like my conscience was speaking, why don't you try connecting it back together before you heat kind of make sure it all works. Okay, actually I do need another piece of heat shrink to connect this. I'll get a black piece for that. I have infinite amounts of black heat shrink. Now, I'm not gonna make it white. I'm gonna make it black. So my wiring stuff, I need to get the soldering iron out and everything anyway. Here's my heat, here's my various selections of... Uh, give me that knife under the monitor, to the left. What? Yes. yes. Thank you. I'm just stuck to this, it's a keyboard pad. All right, there we go. Thank you, imaginary lady. Welcome. All right, so now I've got this, which I'll slide back over once I've made the repairs. So, I can slide this on this end or that end, it doesn't make a difference. Where is my wire? Ch oh, it's just two, it's literally just a white and a black. That's it. And I could actually, I could disconnect this. Yeah, so you gotta be willing, if you wanna make things look nice, you gotta be willing to fuck them up beyond warranty. So there, I'm literally going to get my soldering iron now, uh, my other wire strippers, because this is not small enough. Solder these two things together, slide the heat shrink over, heat shrink the entire length, plug that in, done. So, burb. All right, I've re-soldered these connections. There's only two wires, which is nice and easy. I'm gonna slide some heat shrink black over this. And now we're gonna go use my heat gun, which is an item I bought and don't get to use nearly enough. Where is it? Find the middle. I didn't unplug it, I turned it off. It literally has an on-off switch. Um, I'm gonna avoid using the extension cord. Yeah, no, it's not a, that was like a $90 tool. So that's perfect. Oh, now if you don't know what this is, this is like a hair dryer. That'll remove the flesh off your body. You 
It's a hair dryer for someone you really don't like. All right. Now we are. We are now going to do what someone suggested and. Uh, I wish this just stayed like in my microwave. There you go. Yeah, more bits. Let's make sure this still works before I do anything else. You're good. Um, I'm gonna plug this son of a bitch in here. So glad I cleared out all the extra bullshit that was hanging in here. Crap, I can't test it because I have to plug it into an actual fucking lighthouse to test it. Or I gotta get my multimeter out. All right. Chewbacca, you down here now? Good, okay. Before I go and heat shrink this on there. You know how hard this is to find this hole? Where the fuck's my hole? Oh, Jesus. I'm just too short for this. Oh, my fucking perfect setup. Oh. oh, I'm pretty sure I'm jamming and then someplace it's not supposed to go. Fuck. Sorry, everyone on YouTube. Time to take out my uh, convenient ladder. The ladder of convenience. Oh yeah, baby, first actual task. What is this? Sorry, they're playing country music through my headphones. Which is a sure far away. They got me to cuss. Cussin'. Okay. No. Oh, it's not. We're lit. It is lit and it is connecting. Okay. Oh, God. Pasta, stop it. Uh, we have power. I'm happy. That means I get to unplug this. Go back and heat shrink the entire length. Nope, all of it at the same time. Now there's low, and there's high. Now white, I usually go a little bit lower. White will actually burn. You could actually like char heat shrink. And I'm gonna go right against the tip because this will take all day if I don't. Um, This is making my electrical bill about a million dollars, but it's gonna be worth it. It's like 1800 watts, this thing. Otherwise, we'll do this with a torch. All right, you know what? I'm gonna save you guys a lot of time. You can see what it's going to be. Burb. All right, back to stuttering noises as we finish up this heat shrink gerb. I found the pace, it got nice and hot. I'm going back and forth a couple times. We should have, that's a very hot, hot, hot heat gun. I'm gonna put it in the microwave. I'm going to close the door on it. A couple places now are now janky because it, was, it wasn't it was janky before, but now that I've leaned it over the ladder, so I may have to go and just reimburse it with straightness. Just get it back to heat it up. I think she'll do YouTube too. Now that's not bad. What just fell? Oh, the power supply. Ow. 
Actually, it's not getting nearly hot enough. This is, by the way, how you can get janks out of regular cables, too, is just a heat gun and time. If there's like that, that's being very specific. Fuck off. Alright. Alright. We are now ready to plug the other one in. We go up the step ladder. I gotta clean the smudge off of that now because I was reaching from the bottom. Get on it. So now I'm gonna get some just double stick tape and just go boom a couple places down here. Maybe even like once I do double stick tape here, I might just be able to do blue white tack in the corners. And then you won't be able to see it. There we go. Alrighty. Next step is hanging shit from the ceiling. Although I'm not completely ready for that because I don't have the length. I could. I have it coming through. It'll reach to that bed. But that's not enough to go from there to up to over to down. I could do it without mounting it today. But I need, need more. So we'll see tomorrow when I get the extensions. All right, so as you can see, I'm just gonna put a little wire tie around this. That one is mounted cleanly behind this. It's gonna get plugged in. I'm probably gonna put a power strip here. And then this one, look how nice this came out. I heat shrinked it down. I managed to find I have clear 3M double stick. Uh, I'll link to some clear 3M double stick. It's in my thing. And I just went three inch strip there. You can't even see it. One inch strip there and a three inch strip at the bottom. There's a little bit of looseness here, but I mean, I could go every foot and add a piece, but it's just, you don't even see it from far away. And those are the cleanest, the cleanest install of a lighthouse that I've ever seen. It's just like, yeah, it could be security systems. It could be anything. And if I stand right here in the middle, I could just see the top of that one and I could just not see the top of that one. So I'm gonna point this one up a little bit more. Just a little bit. There we go. We'll see if they fall over time. They are spinning and vibrating though, so that might actually just fall down overnight, not to tighten everything. That one's lit, this one's not. I'm gonna get a, um... There we go. These are the wire ties everyone likes to use. I'm probably gonna use the full one. Here we go. Um... I assume the Patreon pledges, by the way, that pop up in my live streams are actually just naturally happening externally and they just get shown on here. I don't think people watching are actually doing it. Okay. There we go. Why is that not sticking to itself? It should, it should just stick to itself. There we go. Not quite as jank as it could be. Um, unplug that. Boom. We lit. We lit, fam. That one's lit up blue. That one's green already because it's been plugged in. My apartment is a mess in the middle. Uh, there you go. Green. Green. Perfect 90 degree. Nothing's in the way between them, each other and me. So I should have plenty of space to go around and fight things. And then I'm hoping there's a punch like prostitutes game coming out, like Grand Theft Auto. That's, that's what you did in Grand Theft Auto, let's face it. Everyone just punched prostitutes and stole cars. And I really wanna get in there and just wail on them. Male prostitutes too, I'm not, a, I'm not sexist, I'll punch anybody. So yeah, so this has been part two. I will complete, the only thing you guys aren't going to witness 
Well, I should do the magnetic things up there and see how that goes. Because I can still go straight as an arrow. If I take here, if I take the headset, and I go straight as an arrow out of the hole, pasta leaves a mess in my kitchen. Pasta leaves a mess. As you can see, there is enough cord to make it all the way to here, but I want to be able to stand here with this gun to the top. So, I have not made the mac and cheese. If I go dead straight, to, see it's not even long enough to go dead straight to that yet. I definitely need the extension. So the plan is to have the display port extended 10 feet, the USB extended 10 feet. It could be as little as six, because it's gonna go basically from where that connector is in the wall to here. And once it's here against this, whether it's over and up or straight up, I'm not gonna be particular with it. Then it's gonna be all the length to go to that and then hang down. And I'm probably gonna end up purchasing some of those um, ones that uh, are spring-loaded so you can walk back and forth and it pulls up because that's fine. I'll do those to the magnets instead of just looping around this. So I'm gonna get those ordered today. And then part three of this, I will show you the finalized thing running and tell you a little bit about the, uh, the index because I haven't done much with the other uh, VR headsets, but this thing is just, other than crashing my computer, but that's my computer's fault. So that's it for part two. Stay tuned for part three whenever. Unboxing's probably tomorrow.